Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I have always opined on this particular platform, I think more than a thousand times now, that in politics nothing happens out of mere coincidence. And that everything in politics is normally well planned, well scripted, and executed to achieve a specific political objective. Nothing just happens for the sake of it in politics. Earlier today, photos of Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta sharing light moments with Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi emerged. The two gentlemen are in Nigeria to attend the inauguration of Bola Tinibu, who is the 16th president of Nigeria. Those photos are actually intended to achieve a specific political objectives. And I'm sure Rigedi Gashagwa is not going to sleep tonight. He's going to place a phone call to William Ruto. And he's also going to place a phone call to Musalim Davadi to inquire what they discussed with Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. So in this video, I want us to look at why those photos are giving Rigadi Gashagwa sleepless nights. If you observe the photos closely, Uhuru Kenyatta and Musalim Davadi are at ease with, with each other. They are actually embracing each other. At some point, they are hugging each other. And from the seats where they are sitting, they are comfortable. I can see Musalim Davadi sitting on a single seat there, while Uru Kenyatta is sitting on another one there. And these guys are discussing something. But why should these photos worry Rigeti Gashagwa? Let's face the truth and the real politics. These photos are coming at a time when number one, William Samoyar Apruto did not send Rigadi Gashagwa to Nigeria. Rigadi Gashagwa is the principal assistant to the president. In an, in an ideal situation, the person who ought to have been in Nigeria is none other than Rigadi Gashagwa. In one of my videos yesterday, I opined that probably Ruto did not send him because he feared Embarrassment. You know, Rigeti Gashagwa is not well groomed enough. You know, he can just talk. So Ruto probably, I mean, Ruto probably feared the embarrassment. And I also explained that probably there is trust issues with high profile meetings. That Rigeti can only be sent to central Kenya to attack Uru to deal with the, with the Mungiki and Mainanjenga. But high profile meeting where heads of states are meeting, he's not there. Or probably this a strategy to cut him off international networks. And that's why Musalim Davadi was sent. Was it by design that he was not sent? So that's a, a question which Kenyans are asking. The other significant thing is that this particular meeting is also coming at a time when there are talks about attempts to reconcile Uhuru and Ruto. As a matter of fact, yesterday, I mean today morning, I did a video about Mutai Nguni's tweet. And Mutai Nguni was very clear yesterday that the two gentlemen should work together based on Uhuru Kenyatta's speech in Nigeria. Coincidentally today, Uhuru and Mundavadi met in Nigeria. So if you ask me, there's no coincidence that Ruto decided to choose Mundavadi for Nigeria assignment and also it is coming at a time when there's this talk about these two gentlemen recently, uh, recon, uh, recon they talks about these two gentlemen reconciling. 
So in this video, I want us to look at all those. Before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. What we do on this channel is that we analyze politics in a way you can't find any other place. So the best thing you can do is to click the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on anything. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. And for this particular video, guys, I want to make a request to you. Please give it thumbs up. Just press that thumbs up. For those who can drop their comments, you can also drop your comments. And of course, I'm also open to coffee for those who normally do it the way that we do it. Now, let us dive in. And I want to be very brief. I want to go through this by asking a few questions, which I think Rigadi Gashagwa is currently asking himself. The first question, which I'm sure Rigadi is asking himself, is <clears throat> was he deliberately locked out of the Nigerian trip to allow Uhuru Kenyatta and Musalim Davadi to meet? That's a very important question which Rigadi Gashagwa must ask himself. Because let's face it, Uhuru Kenyatta is a former president, which means if he had planned to go to this particular event, either he was invited or some other reasons. And the fact is the system or the government knew that Uhuru was headed there. Was it by design that these guys realized that Uhuru was going there so they, they, they deliberately did not send Ruto. Of course, you all know that Ruto was sending, was supporting another candidate in Nigeria. So probably that's why he did not go there. Was it deliberate? They knew Uru was going and then they unleashed Musalem Ravadi. These guys are in Nigeria. Probably in the same hotel room. What do you think these guys are talking about? Kenyan politics? What do you think they are talking about? A conducive environment has been created for them. So for me, that is the first question we should worry regarding Gashagwa. Was he deliberately locked out of this meeting, I mean of this trip, to allow Mudavadi and Uru to talk? Number two, <laughs> what message, and this is something which Rigadi should be asking himself, what message is being sent to Kenyans? by these particular photos. Who leaked these photos? If you go to Uru Kenyatta's uh, Twitter handle, it's normally the fifth, the fourth president. Fourth. If you check Uru Kenyatta's uh, Twitter handle, these photos are there. What message are they sending to us? Like, for example, if you look at this photo here, what comes to your mind? <laughs> yeah, okay, look at this. What message do you think these guys are trying to send to us? What message? Yeah? Look at these guys are relaxed. What message, and that's something which should worry Rikadi Gashagwa, what message is being sent from these photos? Because Rikadi Gashagwa is known to take Uru Kenyatta head on. If you were here, probably even that handshake would not have happened. Even if it took place, photos would not have been shared. So these photos were shared deliberately to send a message. So that's something which, in my view, I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. Rigadi Gashagwa should be asking himself. The third question which Rigadi Gashagwa and the team must ask themselves <laughs> is Muslim Davadi mending fences or building bridges <clears throat> for future politics. 
because as regarding Ashagwa is busy attacking Uhuru in the mountain <coughs> and I mean attacking Mainanjenga <coughs> attacking any other leader Museni Mdavadi is reaching out to the same same people Tomorrow you'll see Musalim Ravadi and Raila Odinga. Or Musalim Ravadi with Kalonzo. So the question is, is Musalim Ravadi trying to mend fences with his former friends <coughs> for future politics? What about Rigedi uh, Gashagwa? <laughs> that is a question which probably he will have to answer. And let me ask the last question not really last maybe the, the second last or why is Rigathi Gashagwa fighting Uhuru Kenyatta in Mount Kenya again that's a very critical question which Rigathi Gashagwa should be able to find answers to is it being set up because Rigathi Gashagwa is fighting Uhuru is fighting Maina Njenga is fighting any other person in Mount Kenya Whose battle is he fighting in the mountain? Are those battles his or is fighting them on behalf of William Ruto? So Rigadi Gashago must ask himself, why is he fighting Uhuru Kenyatta in the mountain? And is that helping him achieve his political objectives? And the last question which should worry Rigadi Gashago and the group is who leaked the photos? These photos are now out. Who leaked them out? Because you can see they were taken by somebody. Who is this person? Why were they leaked out? Which means Rigadi Gashago, as we speak now, is actually a laughing stock. If you don't understand what I'm saying, please you need to subscribe so that you can be able to understand what I'm trying to say. I don't know what you think. That's my take. Thank you guys and may you have a good day. Bye bye. By the way, <clears throat> what's your take on finance bill? least five things which you are not comfortable with in that particular finance bill thank you for now bye bye